Now, I've got a lot of things that I need to put down. Awful lot of things. I'm thinking perhaps a little... Um, hunting Lodge Forester combo over here. Would be quite nice. And it's got the, the mountain there, which is a bit of a problem, but it's not terrible, I don't think. Maybe a little bit close to the others, but I think we can make it work. Pop it there. I will have the fruit gatherer right beside, as well as a forester right there. And then finally, we'll go ahead and pop down a wee storage area right next to them as well. There we go. And from here, we should be able to bring in a little road. Of course, it has to run just aside. Most vexing. But it's fine. The roads actually do look quite nice when they, when they go diagonally. There we are. That'll help quite a lot. Uh, once again, though, I want to make sure that this is prior to... Well... Plant any tree, but only cut non-fruit trees. Much as this one. Eventually, it's going to only have fruit trees there, but it will supplement our, our wood for a while while it's getting there. Now, we're starting to get to the point where eh, we haven't got any laborers. The problem we have is that we've got 17 workers. 14 of them are currently... Uh, building, uh, sorry, employed or building. And we're about to use up quite a lot of them down here. Yeah, that's going to be a little bit rough. It is going to be a little bit rough. We need more peeps. Rather urgently, in fact. So if you have a look down here, only one of the homes doesn't have someone living in them. So let's go ahead and set these up. I think at this point we're going to run a little road around them. I don't want this one to be too, uh, to be diagonal. There we are. We'll connect that up there. Okay. Quite a lot of stuff moving around. We've got loads of food. Got a decent amount of of, uh, of meat available to us. Uh, speed boots. Lead the skill. SP cost 60. Boost target building's work speed by 50% for 50 seconds. Uh, okay. Interesting. I hadn't noticed that before. Deco, thank you very much for gifting a sub there. That's really kind of you. Deforestation in progress. I mean, not really, though. Let's upgrade these. Uh, I'm going to have to wait on a bit more stone, then. Uh, we can start expanding out. We've got some iron over there. We've got some stone over here. And the stone is actually what I need the most right now. Uh, this area cannot claim a province through a mountain. Ah, okay. So we're going to have to move upwards. How much food have we got? We've got stupid amounts of food. Let's use food to expand the province then. Yep. And that gives us all of this wonderful, wonderful, wonderful stone. Let's go ahead and gather all of that. I really would like a quarry before long. Ah, there we go. <laughs> Ask and you shall receive. Wheat seeds. Now that is going to be nice. This one we just use up. Pop. There we go. We've unlocked wheat. Now we could have done that earlier, but we did not. Uh, not to mention we haven't actually used the cabbages yet, either, which is a bit silly of us. Uh, rather silly of me. It's silly of me, not of us. Uh, we will see... Building a little bit quickly right now. I want to get the, the housing done first, actually. So we're going to uh, speed up time. We'll allow, uh, allow our peeps to get things done. Boar Guild gifted you 100 gold for good relationship. Thank you very much, AI. Clearly, there is a reason to have the AI here. Uh, sure, I would like to trade. Uh, I'll sell off the leather that we've got. Let's trade that away. Let's slow this down a little bit. Right, we've managed to get improved wood cutting, which is very nice. Medicinal herbs. What are we doing for medicine? We're doing okay. Mushroom log sterilization. Decreases mushroom farms' wood consumption. Now, that is going to be useful. I think 
medicine-wise, we're okay for the time being. But it is eventually going to get a little bit rough for us. Uh, unlock the potter. Would you like to buy a potter card? No. Nor the clay pit right now. We've got enough things going on that we don't need them. Let's get uh, some of these trees chopped. Okay. Now, we've got one labourer and one builder. It's not grand. So hopefully, we're going to be able to get these to upgrade reasonably fast. We've unlocked the library. Would I like to buy that one? Now, the library card we will purchase for 100 gold. Yes. The library gives plus two science. Like if we have a look at these, they're giving me two science. And this one will give me as plus two for any houses, uh, level two houses, in our area of effect. So, if I pop one there, for example, if I could just, uh, just out of range. Yeah, most of them. Popping one here would do fine. So let's do that. Pop a little library there, and we'll get a little bit of extra science out of all of these buildings. Now, it is worth me having a look at you, because there may be something amazing there every now and then, but right now, not too much. That said... Getting some foresters together just purely to cut wood would be a good call. So I'm going to buy that in hopes that I can get a second forester at some point. Now, right now, the ch chances are fairly good. A charcoal burner would be amazing as well, but that would take up my remaining card slot. It's a tricky question. Okay, well, while all that's being done... How many uh, labourers? We've got seven builders out there right now. The AI has just been incredibly nice. I'm not sure why. I'm really a bit concerned. I notice that the animals keep... Uh, the animal population around here is... Uh, dipped, let's say. It's dipped rather aggressively. Song Swift Eye, thank you very much for the subscription there. I hope you're enjoying the, the stream so far. We do need some more trees chopped up. We have got a couple set to be chopped over here, but I'm actually going to have to say I need you to just chop any tree that that is this far away. Eventually we'll plant a bunch. Unlock the Bria Bre uh, beer Brewery. No, we're going to refuse on that one. I know, I know. But right now, we really can't afford it. What I'm going to do instead is we're going to place down the Statistics Bureau. We'll plonk that one there. And then the Employment Bureau can also go... Well, actually, this one can go up near my uh, town hall. In fact, Statistics Bureau should go there as well, really. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of that one. Yes, demolish it. Thankfully, we got that one back. I'm not sure you that you'll always get them back, though. So, bear that in mind. Pop them down. Now then. No, nothing else. We can re-roll for free. I can sell half of the food of the city and get a lot of money, but I'd rather not. Uh, no. Nothing else there. So, I'm going to cancel this one. We're not going to get any new. All right, there we go. We have got the library. Lovely building. Doing great work. Now, I think we're going to use some of our money to purchase. This can move 240. That's actually wonderful. Wood. Let's go ahead and buy 240 wood. Takes an awful lot of cash. Well, actually, what am I talking about? Of course, it's more than we can afford. Oh, we'll just grab 100. There we go trade. Now, we can improve this. Upgrade, uh, drop the, the fee. I should have done that first, really. Uh, increase the load. This thing can move ridiculous amounts of, uh, of products around. Charcoal burner? Nope. Uh, trading port? No. I want a forester. Damn it. Okay. Got a little bit of time. 
I may be able to get that. Oop. New era. Sustainability. Consume 40% less input. More productivity or decrease upkeep. I would like the sustainability book. Uh, our town has advanced to era 2. I'm going to pause it there. You've unlocked the global card slots. Chimney restrictor, birth control, and coal treatment. Okay. We'll have a look at that in a moment. We've unlocked influence points used to claim land. Because we can now build things that will generate influence points. Um, in fact, we're generating a little bit already. But you can like build barracks and stuff like that. That'll also help. But we want the sustainability book in here to reduce the amount of logs that we are using. There we are. Perfect. Right. Okay, with that said and done, just got to get a little bit more cash. Come on. Hopefully we can get it in the next few seconds. Yeah, we should be able to get uh, the amount we need. There we go. And with that, we can get this forester. Boom. There we go. Two foresters. Oh, they stack. You know what? I've never seen that before. That's interesting. So you can stack them. That's extremely interesting. Okay, our storages are full. Well, that's rubbish. Uh, okay. Uh, what can we sell? We've got some furniture that we don't really need right now. We've got an awful lot of game meat. Uh, I'm okay with selling 180 game meat. I'll get us uh, an extra bit of cash. There we go. We get the cash immediately, but it's going to take a while before our um, trader is available again. Now, these foresters... We could place them down pretty much anyway and just have them generate um, extra extra um, lumber for us. I would want them away from our main kind of industrial area. Uh, sorry, our main sort of residential area. In fact, having two of them around here wouldn't necessarily work against us. One of them could be tasked with planting any type of tree. The other could be tasked with cutting down any type of tree. The only problem with forests is they're very, very good at cutting down trees. Shockingly good at cutting down trees, in fact. So I kind of want them in their own little spot, like a little bit further away, really. And they're not going to cause too much trouble. I wonder if they'll plant cacti. This is, honestly, it's quite possible they would. All right. Can we expand? 164 food. I think we can afford it. We're going to expand into these two. In this province as well. There we are. This is going to be where we generate our lumber from now on. I would love to move this up there. But it, we're not going to be able to. It's just uh, just unfortunate. The way, unfortunate the way that that's going to be. Um, let's try and get the most amount of land that we can make use of. I think if we place this about here... We'll get a good return. There's one there. At oh, for a moment there, I thought it had used up both cards. I was about to be most vexed. <laughs> the level of vexation was about to be rather extreme. Rather extreme. Uh, who dat? Who dat that did the thing? Oh, Red Fox, thank you. Glad I am actually catching one of the streams live. Time to go make some tea. Enjoy your tea, mate. And thank you so much for that tip. That was really, really kind of you. Thank you. But there we go. We're going to have these here. I would like one of them to focus on cutting. Um, well, actually, I could I could honestly have them both. Do, do both. Uh, prioritize planting any tree. Well, you know, honestly, this area... Is strictly for the yeah cut non-fruit trees only the same with this one plant non-fruit trees and cut non-fruit trees just all I want these two forests to do now one of them could plant and the other could cut but I I'm, I'm happy with them both just keeping us with a, a steady flow of, of lumber very steady flow of lumber Maybe I should have one planting and one cutting. Um, yeah, you, you prioritize planting, you prioritize cutting. We'll see how that works. I've not actually tried this out. But this might actually work quite well. Okay. So with that done, 
I'm also going to add in a charcoal burner up here. Now, no one enjoys having a charcoal burner next to their house. Word to the wise on that one. They would not appreciate it. We'll pop the charcoal burner right there. And finally, we're going to add in a little uh, storage. And by little, I mean large. Quite large. We're going to be producing a lot of material here. So let's not place that on the land which I suspect may be the only land that we can actually plant trees on. Let's place it over here instead. There we go. And we'll put a nice little road around it. We'll even have it angled at the back. Ah, oh, how lovely. There we go. Perfect. Alright. Crack on then, peeps. Need to get some work doing. Now, we've got a bit of stone, but we need more. A quarry would be grand. One here would be absolutely wonderful. Let's go ahead and get that down. This quarry will have access to the 10,000 stone that's here. Pretty, pretty lush, if you ask me. Right, we can now set job priorities. Furniture workshop? Yeah, you should be right at the bottom. Um... Fruit Gatherer, Fishing Lodge. Actually, I'm going to move the Fishing Lodge up. Fruit Gatherer, Hunting Lodge. The Pig Rancher can go down a little bit. Um, actually, the, the Pig Rancher takes a while to build up, so... I'm going to put the Pig Rancher reasonably high up, because they do produce a decent amount. They'll be above hunting. There we go. It, this the, the thing with the pigs is it's, it's always going to produce meat. The hunters will depend on if there's enough animals nearby, and as you can probably see, there's not. You've killed them all, Jack. You've been a little bit too effective. We will see how this goes. I'm not sure if uh, wildlife returns naturally or not. We're going to have to find out about that one. Right, we need to choose some research. Thankfully, our research is accruing while time goes on. So we ne we're never wasting it. It's not like like in Factoria where if you're not researching, well, you're just not using up the flasks. And they're just... I mean, you're building up the flasks, but it's still going to take time to research it. This is purely, do you have enough research or not? So you could just wait until you had enough and then click it and you get it instantly, which is actually quite nice. Xenovoid, thank you very much for the cheer there. And yes, Kiwis can fly. Thank you so much for the six months, mate. Yay, half a year anniversary. Looking forward to more wonderful streams. Thank you, mate. Really appreciate that. Hello, Abresh Kimpachi. Howdy, Avak and Chet. Hope you are all having a wonderful day. How goes the stream? Can someone give me a quick elevator pitch for this game? I will leave that to chat. Uh, and I will actually be watching with great interest on how they put it. Now, sawmill, furniture workshop efficiency, that would be nice. Cheap reroll, uh, plus one card each reroll. Plantation unlocks farm crops, crop cards, cannabis seeds, grape seeds, cocoa seeds, and cotton seeds. Iron works, I mean, we're just branching into an iron area. Hmm. Yeah, we're going to go for the Ironworks and the Blacksmith. I think are the two that we're going to go for in that order, more or less. Thank you very much for the gifts. Did you need some more gold? Shall we go and check on the AI? I wonder. <clears throat> desert Pilgrim. Houses built on desert. Get plus five gold. Ooh. Well, now that is interesting. I accept. Very much so. Can we upgrade the town hall? No, we're quite far away from that. We can now have a look at the statistics. We can see uh, we've now got a census bureau. So, uh, buildings, population, income. Uh, that went down quite rapidly there. Science, food and fuel. Food, fuel, mm. food usage. Food consumption is pretty stable, but food production, yeah, that's quite cyclic. In winter, we have almost no food production because uh, it's kind of hard to gather fruit. Uh, trading? That's not too bad. 
market prices for various things, but let's uh, go ahead and have a look at resources. Various upkeeps. You can use this to find buildings that you can uh, get the most bang for buck out of reducing their upkeep, for example. This one has produced an enormous amount of uh, resources there. Interesting. And here we are, you've got your you've got uh, your production split up through the various seasons. That's actually really, really useful. That's super cool. I like that a lot, actually. We've got a lot of uh, furnishings down here. Awful lot of furnishings. I'm going to make... Uh, no, we're not going to prioritize that for now. We'll wait on that one. We are lacking quite a lot of logs. Uh, house is too far. Okay, so we need to pop down some new housing. Well, just so happens that we... Uh, I don't know what I'm going to use my influence to grab this one, sure. It just so happens that we picked up Actually, that, that's really nice, apparently. Uh, we just picked up a little bit of a boost for houses built on the desert. So let's go ahead and build some houses on the desert, then. There we go. Now, they're going to need... Uh, well, let's pop down a little bit there. They're going to need some trees. Thank you very much for the gold. And so, to that end, I'm just going to go ahead and buy it. What's the fees? 20% though. Oh wait, sorry, I was uh, I was taking I wasn't taking into account that it's uh, plus 108 a turn, not I've also got an extra 108. Okay, that'll do. I'll just buy uh, 100 wood there. We can probably sell off some things. We've got more furniture than we need. Uh, and log for log we get quite a lot more out of the furnishings. So let's go ahead and sell a Street 16. Take that away. Okay. Now as soon as we get this upgraded, it'll be quite useful to have that in there. Now, this isn't helping us just yet, because we don't have trading companies. So let's get that out of there, pop Desert Pilgrim in. And that should help out a little bit with taxing. Caravan has arrived. Sure, we will trade with you. Uh, leather. Okay. Everything is helping. Little by little, bit by bit. But yeah, so we do need to have homes spread out a bit. To be able to meet all of the needs of the people. This area is becoming more and more filled with fruit trees. I approve quite a lot. In fact, an awful lot. Gonna need more storage down here, I fancy, though. Uh, how are the storages up here? Well, yeah, they're getting very full with, uh, with fruit. We're going into winter, though, so our, now would be an awful time to sell food. Now would be an absolutely dire time to sell food, in fact. It'd be rather dumb. Uh, so, we're going to just stick to selling things like uh, leather. Research complete. So, ironworks. Now we want to go for the blacksmith. Uh, well, if we went for the sawmill, since we're selling... Selling... Uh, furniture. No, let's go for the blacksmith. Let's focus on that one. You've unlocked an iron mine. Um, sure. And an iron smelter for 420. Yikes. Yeah, okay. That is going to be rough. But we could then sell iron bars. Now, I believe this zone here, iron deposit in this region, can be mined. So if we set up a mine back here, we can actually uh, grab a little bit of... Uh, I want to see the province overlay. Border upkeep is 5. Income is 2. Yeah, I think uh, I think going for that iron there, as soon as we can, will be very helpful for us. 
ultimately. Very, very helpful for us. All right, it's good enough for me. All right, let's have a close watch of our food because I'm a little bit concerned about how this is going to go. If we get enough, a demon brew says, Avak start feeding people into the foundries. Uh, if by people you mean children, then yes. Everyone knows that the reactor prefers children to adults. Everyone knows this. It's the only way to avert a colossal reactor explosion. Feed children to the reactor. It is no. Uh, quarry. Now, I can conserve rapid mining. Deposit at least 30% faster for each mined resource. Or conserve resources. Minus 30% productivity, but the deposit depletes 30% slower for each resource. Or normal. I think we'll go with normal, honestly, because this... I mean, we've got 10,000 stone here. I don't think we need to worry about the quarry. Maybe for an iron mine, yes, but not the quarry. Alright, fuel reserve is low. Yeah, that's pretty bad. But we do have this set up now. So uh, hopefully we're going to see this uh, this doing well. Now, prioritize plant. You know what? We'll see how the, we see how this plays out. But I'm I'm really feeling that that having two. One set to planting and one set to to cutting is not the right way to do it. Uh, we will see. But uh, upgrade charcoal con uh, version, yes please. And improve production, yes please. There we go. For seven logs in, we get fifteen coal out. That is grand. So people will start using coal as their fuel of choice. Uh, we don't want to go for anything here. Is there anything else that would be useful? Coal treatment. Coal gives 20% more heat. Chimney restrictor. Wood or coal gives 15% more heat. They're both useful. But I think no. Not for now. Uh, instead, we are going to go ahead and... I mean, we've gone through winter now. We've still got stupid amounts of food, so... Hmm. Well, first, I'm going to sell off... Well, actually, before I do that, let me uh, increase the load. 300 in that is reasonable. Half the time it takes for traders to arrive. That's a lot of money. Yeah, all right, we're about to make a load. Uh, so now we can get rid of all of it in one go. We will eventually want to use this, but uh, boom, there we go. And that should take far less time now to, for them to get back. Uh, we'll also increase the load here and fast delivery on this one as well. Now these are both going to be very, very effective. Now, for this one, I would like to move some of the oranges. Not too many. Well, I'm saying not too many. I'm going to sell 300. But... No, we don't need to. Let's just go ahead and buy some more wood. Uh, we'll go with one... Oops. Sorry, 150. No, not 7,150. My lord. Uh, oh, am I, also, I am also selling the oranges as well. Let's get rid of that. There we go. Now, the AI are being incredibly generous. Let's go and have a check on them. How are they doing? Have they done much of anything? I don't think they've actually done anything new, other than chop down trees, if they've even done that. Yeah, I, I think the AI are as utterly simplistic in how they, they operate. Like, this one has barely even done anything. Okay, well, the AI... Okay, playing with AI on, then, just means that you're going to get free stuff. Duly noted. So realistically, you don't really want to have the AI on. Not yet, anyway. Sweet Orange Bunny, hello! Thank you so much for the 38 months. I really, really appreciate that. Thank you. And then Speak Up thank you very much for the 500 bits as well, mate. Uh, 
Yeah, the, the AI is kind of dumb at the moment and needs improving gear. Right now, my advice would be, if you're finding the game difficult, leave the AI on. But if you're not, don't don't bother turning it on. And just leave it off. It's probably going to be better for you to have off than on. If we can get one more level here, one more house at level two, we're going to unlock baking. That is going to be grand. We'll need to find a good place for it. Uh, that being said, uh, how are these, these lodges doing? I mean, they're not going to be much impacted if I put a farm down here, are they? Let's go ahead and, and consider dropping a farm. We've got a little bit of availability there. We've got a surprising amount of fertility down here, though, as well. There's no point in putting anything there. Uh, this area, yeah, we don't really want to mess around with that area at all. So over here, and in this little nook right here, we can we can have a farm. What kind of farm do we want? Well, it's a question that we may not have yet, uh, have an answer for just yet. Now we don't really, I mean, it's not going to be amazing. Oh wow, this uh, farm really can't be that large. Try that in. Uh, well, let's maximize the fertile area then. Yeah, sure. Pop a farm right there. This farm will be for cabbage, since cabbage is the more um, <clears throat> fertility dependent. And then we're going to pl place another farm right here as well. Same dimensions. Only 55% fertile, but I'm going to give this one wheat. Hopefully, that will do okay. We'll see. I'll probably squeeze out a little bit more as well if I really wanted to, but I think we're good. All right. So with that done, uh, should we pop a little bit of a road down here? I think so. 